Hello everyone, welcome to my video. Today in this video we will be working with this model. Let's open a new part. The front plane, the top plane, we create a sketch. We click here from a center rectangle and then we select two edge, a line while control is pressed and then we give here a 80 millimeter length later we pick radius we enter the value of 15 and we say everything okay as long as you define all edges the same radius that relation will be kept it's a program trying to say that so height is 35 and then we make a shell which is Four millimeter thick. That's good. We look from front plane. We create here a sketch, and here I'm creating a center rectangle again. Okay, this is the one that we would like to have. This is four. This is uh, twenty-eight, which is fine selected we go swap cut the pad will be the first sketch that we created simply we cut in a way in fact you can create it differently as well but I prefer to do this way this is a need and less operation font plane again now we created here a rectangle it will be half Okay, this is good. And then I want to make it till here at the midway. So I'm now going to let's do another way. Let's do another way to show everybody it could be the other option. Let's use minimal comments. This is the line found it half and convert this to construction geometry make it vertical this is good and we will make extrude thickness is 2 height is 14 because the other one was 28 okay this looks good as well we have two bodies and we can continue operation we create here a sketch we pick a polygon this will be a hexagon and here the value is six and I will have here another one exact copy of the other in fact the center distance will be 12 and then the edge will be equal so this is rotating this is as well so then we will say to this true edge vertical and we can close this one as well yeah it's good and then we say extrude cut this one and this contour with 25 degree selection this this will be cut it. okay something like this now we go to composite curve curve one curve two curve three simply I select my edges and I combine them to into one curve because it is very convenient to use in curve driven pattern so I select com uh, composite curve and I select my cut and I say tangent to curve, transfer to curve and everything looks fine. 12 instances will be copied. This is good. If you look, we have something like this now. Maybe we can 
start to assign some different color to distinguish it better let's say for example this is dark this will be a different color like this yes we go open here and sketch and firstly I will find the midway of this two section to cut in fact I convert them to construction geometry from here to here if I'm coming I will be again at the mid horizontal and I will create here one uh, hexagon again plus uh, with across two edge was six yeah and vertical you can't make them in one batch in one uh, pattern because the the seeds are not al aligned and so here when they are rotating it will be difficult to line them that's the reason I'm making it two time so I create a plane let's go back top plane selected reference geometry plane I come to this edge so what I'm going to do now convert my edges this three edge selected by the way we didn't open sketch yet this three edge selected but from here to here we need to make a shift because the pad is equal we should compensate that at the end linear this last part equal to this part something yes that's true equal this is good as well this sketch is selected we go to composite curve and again one more curve here created now this will be selected and 25 degree cut it this is the body and composite curve 2 is selected sketch driven no uh, curve driven pattern and this is the one direction and we say okay everything looks fine we are going to hide unnecessary things you see here unnecessary a lot of body yeah they're gone hide this for a while top plane selected mirror this selected no this plane hmm. we didn't select the plane yet let's show the plane plane and here this is the this is the nice select this bit confused at this point here so it's done we select this plane we go mirror this selected and mirror merge solids each time when that body is created will be combined to earlier one that's the operation we done here and we showed our sketch had the bodies everything fine let's start to give here some chamfers 0 0.5 0 0.5 chamfer chamfer 0.5 here and here as well this will be a bigger one let's say one and from inside a chamfer again which is 2 by uh, 60 degree we hide this plane and the model is done thanks for watching if you have any question please um, ask me in the comments if you like my video please hit the like button see you in another video